XOXO, got the girl. <laughs> Pose. <laughs> Good morrow and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. And if you are new here, well, you're in for a treat. Oh, right. If you enjoy chaotic frenetic energy and just... Uh, people who are really weird, then I suggest you go ahead and subscribe because it's a good time. Weird things are about to happen. And in fact, all right, what are we here with today? Well, if you hit that notification bell, then you're about to find out that <laughs> uh, Shop Miss A was kind enough to send me quite a few products. And uh, I'm going to try them out if you want to see how I got this look. Stay tuned. We're also going to be taking a little trip down my playlist, my musical playlist that I have created. And uh, it's just, I feel like this one's going to be more like my rock section. If you all enjoyed this video, then I will definitely do more of these. Just me getting ready, listening to my playlist and telling you how I feel about them, what these songs meant. I tend to listen to music in comfort stages, so like... Some of y'all be out here trying to introduce me to new music, and I gotta tell you, I'm not ready yet. All right, so cue me getting ready with all of these wonderful things from Shop Miss A. And if you would like to buy anything from Shop Miss A, there's a link below. It is absolutely not affiliated currently, but it could be one day. All right, so I'm gonna first go in with the AOA Studio. I got almost everything from their AOA Studio, their like flagship line. And I'm gonna go in with the Wonderskin Perfecting Blur Primer. I will say it is like glittery. So anyways, for those of you that don't know, I'll show you here. Let me come in and show you the glitter. Like I will bring it in closer so you can see. Sorry about weird accent, but here we go. So anyway, for those of you that don't know, what rap metal is or new metal all of that it was just like this genre that popped up in the 90s where it was like like it was still metal you had still like metal breakdowns guitars all of that but like it was also like they were like rapping it was, it was a lot of white guys but then it like got legitimized because you had guys like method man you know show up on like a limp biscuit album it was pretty intense you know what i mean like it was it was an intense thing and I'm not gonna lie I felt like a bad bitch every time I listened to it so I'm just gonna start playing this playlist and <laughs> I'm going to remark on the songs as we go through I hope this is gonna be a weird video but when aren't my videos weird right right oh y'all okay <laughs> POD alive this was a bop this was a bop every day is a new day Listen, I feel like we found out later that they were like a Christian rock band. I, I can't be positive. I'll insert the information if I'm correct. But like, I'm going to pop in a little bit of the song while I grab the next piece in our masterpiece party. I feel so alive. And I think I could fly. That makes sense now. That actually makes sense. Yeah, I think they are a Christian man. They had their uh, AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. I got it in two shades. It's kind of nice because they actually did have uh, a really nice color selection or shade selection. I use color, shade, whatever. But I got mine, I feel like, which I don't know if it says what ones I got. Shake well and let's get going, right? I feel so weird. This is like a different angle and I'm not used to it, so just like get used to me being weird about that. <laughs> All right, so the first one I have, I'm gonna pop them on my hand because I have like this shade. I feel like this is a little too like, it's too light, but also I don't like the undertone. I feel like this one's gonna be closest, the second one. It has more of like a dropper than it does um, anything else. So like, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna go with the second one. I think you can mix them together and get a good shade. But let us first get a fresh foundation brush. Oh, now we're on our next song, y'all. Okay. 
Okay, Corn, Freak on a Le Leash. This song and the video was just like groundbreaking at the time. Like it was an animated video and you watch this like, there was like this scene where there's a bullet that like flies through everything. It was super intense and everybody thought that they were so cool and like y'all, I'm about to embarrass the hell out of myself in a minute. But like everybody, the fact that John Davis was out in these streets just like scatting and we let him get away with it, like please <laughs> free me from the shackles of John Davis's scatting because it's like boom da boom da da ima. All right, here we go. Ooh. Okay, hold up now. Wait a minute. I don't feel like you're close enough to see what's happening, so I'm gonna have to go bring you in closer. Please hold. All right, so we're in close. We are really like, okay, I like this. Hold on now, babe. That's really nice. I am gonna say it does, I think it's fragranced. It does have a smell, but like it is buildable. It does go on nice and it feels like you can't really like mess it up if that makes sense like it kind of feels like i'm just living my best life but i hate these kinds of droppers that's the only thing i wish that they would change like i don't want to live my life like this and i don't want to hear any shit like aja you're getting your germs I, they're my germs i washed my face let me live my life thank you Go. something takes a part of me Okay, so so far what I'm liking about this is it's like a light coverage and it feels good on my skin so far. It doesn't feel very tacky. And if you do want to build it up, you can. I'm not going to because that's not the kind of life that what I lead. But the next thing we are going to go ahead and do because this is a party. Um, I got this Moonstone palette, like a little eyeshadow palette. I feel like it was like $10 or something like that, not super expensive. And I just kind of wanted to get something like this because I just think that it's fun to be able to kind of play and have fun with makeup and not feel like you have to spend an arm and a leg if you don't want to. And you know what? I kind of forgot to tell you, Shop Miss A is affordable makeup. See, you're already 10 minutes into this video and I'm like, oh yeah, it's affordable makeup. <laughs> But it is very affordable. Their website, like most things are very, very inexpensive. A dollar, two dollars, three dollars. They have palettes. They have a whole brush set, uh, excuse me, brush sets as well. But they also have all of these like um, sponges, which I got a bunch of the sponges. As you can see, I started already kind of playing with them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use like, I'm going to do a shimmery look from this um, because that's who I am as a person. We're going to put shimmer on foist and live our best shimmery life. Let's see what song, oh gosh, it's more corn, y'all. <laughs> this is the song that like we all, okay, we all associate this with corn because, bam, 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 bam. And here we go, here we go, are you ready? Are you ready? Ah! Okay, I know you all can't hear the music, but like, you can feel it, and I'm dropping in clips, hopefully. Today is a good day to be a golden goddess, so I'm gonna go, you know what? Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with this gold that they have here, because it looks really pretty. And just kind of pop that here. Oh, that's nice. It's really nice, actually. I'm so blind. This is a really nice little shimmer here. I'm having like a lovely time. It's like, okay, life ain't bad. Bo's shaking his little body. That's actually nice. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this other shimmer because it's like this kind of deep green and we know how I feel about green. If y'all have not seen my Mirror Beauty video, come on now. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this in right here. I wanna do like an all shimmer look because I feel like um, I want to. <laughs> that's, that's, that is the answer. I feel like I want to. And I'm happy I've made these choices. All right, all right. Let's go back in on the other side. And then we're gonna test out a little bit of 
one of the powder shades here in a second, but I'm not mad at this, to be honest. Like, I feel like the reason I chose this palette is if you're somebody who is thinking to themselves, like, I want to try color, but I'm afraid to, you know, really go all out on color and I don't want to mess it up or whatever. Something like this is super fun, easy for you to work with, and you can kind of play with it as you will. Now, they did send brushes. I, they're, like, actually quite nice. They're not, like, you know, they didn't send them. I picked them. I picked the things, by the way. I picked the things I wanted. I don't like this kind of brush, though. Um, <laughs> but this is the brush. They're, you know, standard little brushes. They work well. It's not a, it's, it's not, like, end-all, be-all, but I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. Okay. What I'm going to do, since I have this kind of, like, color going on here, you know what, because of who I am as a person, I'm going to throw a little bit of this pink around it um, and see how the pink looks, because pink on deep skin can be a problem. And we're just going to throw it around the edge. It's going to be a little bit messy because of who I am as a person, again. Um, I don't want to hear it. I don't want you arguing with me about who I am as a human being, because it's, it's actually quite rude. Uh, I'm like, it's so rude. I will consider that a crime against humanity. And it's Pride Month, so you are obligated to be nice to me. You're welcome. Oh, y'all. This that jam that messed all of us up. Listen. Shifty shell shock. <laughs> the tattoos everywhere. So God to hear the message to show me life is precious. And I guess it's true. But to tell the truth, I really never knew till I'm a Butterfly by Crazy Town. Why they decided to call themselves Crazy Town, we will never know. This is such an interesting contrasting look that I'm doing. The pink look actually kind of looks nice. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look terrible. It's blending pretty easily. Um, even with my messy application style, it's doing, it's doing well. Like that's, that's important to me because I'm not good at just keeping everything like nice and neat. So this is kind of um, nice that it's just like kindly sliding in like that. Now, this brush might be a little too floofy, so I am gonna see if I cleaned any of the smaller ones yet. Cause y'all, I be testing things and I like to know, you know, I like to know. It doesn't look like I have, but I liked the brushes, so that's where we are. So I'm gonna actually, because I'm contrary, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of the green in this palette and I'm gonna just pop it right here. Ooh, that was a good move on my part because it's just kind of like pulling everything together. Okay, I want a little bit of an award for being somewhat creative today. Hopefully in editing, I've actually zoomed this in so you can see what I'm doing because otherwise, I'm a moron. No, I'm not. I'm amazing. You know it. I know it. Happy Pride Month! Okay. So y'all, I was in college when this song, I feel like I was like right in college. I can't remember if I just got in. I feel like it was like 99. And I just remember like when this came on, all, the, all of us would be like, yeah. Doing our little like body rolls, be like. Child, on a short leash, parole to police files. And then we'd look at each other and put our hands up and be like, like Sid and Nancy, so sexy, almost evil. Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly, sugar, baby. Like, we thought we were, we were on next level. We really did. We were like, you can't mess with us. We're the best. We weren't. I mean, at that time, we were, yeah. I had a cool, cool click. I don't know why I decided to be all the way over on this side, so I'm going to rectify that. I get nervous facing the camera head on, so like, it is what it is. All right, so since we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and go on in with the, they have a liquid concealer, and y'all know I'm about to, what I'm about to say. I don't love them when you have to squirt them out, but <laughs> I don't, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, this is, I got mine in Nutmeg, this one actually says. I think this might actually be a little darker than the foundation I have on. So we're gonna hope that this works out, because otherwise I'm just gonna be like a monster, like a, a weird dark face monster. And then we're going to, 
Like, it's just not going to be evenly spread. And then I'm going to take uh, this mochi brush, mochi sponge of theirs, and I'm going to use it to apply. It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. You don't really know why. But you want to justify ripping someone's head off. All right, so we've hit the part of the party where obviously you can't talk about, like, rap metal and, like, new metal without talking about, like, Fred Durst. Um... <laughs> Because, y'all, Fred Durst, like, I don't know how some of us, myself included, got conned into, like, thinking that there was literally anything attractive about Fred Durst. Like, he wasn't even hot then. Like, he wasn't even, like, I guess for Fred Durst, he was hot. <laughs> don't get mad at me. But, actually, the concealer is looking, it's a little too peachy, but that, I can work with peachy. I can work with peachy. Uh, but it's just really funny to me because like when break stuff came out, I swear like every one of us suburban kids just thought like this was our anthem. We were all just like talking that shit punk. So come and get it. You know, you like the aggression you had to be like, come get it. We like, oh my gosh. And then there's like a whole breakdown in this song. And <laughs> And like people just sitting up, cause right now I'm dangerous. Cause right now I'm dangerous. I'm like taking y'all back down my memory lane and I hope that you're enjoying it. But like when break stuff came on, like you would, especially if you're riding in your car and the breakdown comes on and you're just sitting there like waiting for the time. You're like, I pack a chainsaw. <laughs> and we're all sitting there like jamming. And it's like, I just might. And then it starts building and building. You feel it? Yeah. And if my day keeps going this way, I just might break your breaking face tonight. Give me something to break. Listen, I, listen, I was in my car losing my entire mind. I had this up so loud. It would be a hundred degrees outside, over a hundred. And I would literally roll the windows down so that everybody knew that I was the bad bitch in town listening to Limp Biscuit and like screaming at them. <laughs> Y'all, don't come for me and start talking shit about me because, like, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't handle that in this, the month of Pride, okay? <laughs> I would be very upset. I would be like, how, how dare you come into my house and embarrass me? <laughs> Y'all, I'm about to out myself. I don't want to hear, like, please don't make fun of me when you hear about this next band because it just started. And I am getting humiliated because <sighs> I have to make... I have a confession to make. Lift me up. Listen, I'm a closet <laughs> FFDP fan, okay? Listen, I loved Five Finger Death Punch, okay? It ain't no mystery. I'm all I, I don't want to hear it. I know. It was like weird, weird, angry dude rock. I understand what you're saying. I get it. I, I feel you judging me and I really need you to take two steps back and also have a sip of water because you're being salty. Like Five Finger Death Punch just did something for my spirit. <laughs> it was just like all the random yelling. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I liked music where I could just like randomly shout and <laughs> My finger death punch did that to me. And it's still like an extension of that kind of like rap metal um, situation because he is kind of like, did you hear about, like it kind of moved it into like more of a sing-songy world. And I was like, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I can deal with that. Like, y'all, this concealer is nice. Like it's not like super thick. I wish I'd gotten a different shade because it's actually nice it's not terrible let me scooch it's actually nice it's not terrible it's like not thick i feel like my skin looks nice and i think what i want to do is just go in just a smidgen and like two areas like right here that's not bad and i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows because that's who i am as a person number one i knew you were waiting because like you're like audra it doesn't work if audra doesn't say that's who i am as a person 14 times in a video and you are correct it doesn't work so whilst I, I didn't get anything for eyebrows because I'm pretty well set on what I like to use for my eyebrows. I'm not, I feel like that's one of the few things in my beauty repertoire that I'm just like, I'm not gonna change it. Uh, because I just, it's hard for me to find brow products anyway. 
specifically because like I don't I have sparse eyebrows and like I don't have a tail end of eyebrow right and I'm also uninterested in drawing on hairs like I, if you're new here I don't want to draw on eyebrow hairs that is more work than I'm willing to put in um, for my sun covers let's go ahead and do this and whilst we do this let's see what the next song on the playlist is because we're like y'all tech nine Am I a psycho? Am I a psycho? Yeah, I'm a psycho. I guess I'm a psycho. So Tech Nine, am I a psycho? I, when I used to work in automotive, I worked with this kid Clint, um, and he's the one who introduced me to Tech Nine. And I remember this, like this is the memory I have around this song. It's like he was dating one of the chicks at work and she was not okay. I don't know what was wrong with her. I'm not gonna tie the diagnoser, but she seemed to have some problems. And <laughs> like they were together and then they broke up and then she started like, y'all, I had actual workplace drama, but like then she started to date like another guy, like, but he was, a, he was a tech and the guy, like my friend Clint was, um, uh, the manager, the director, or whatever, the manager. I don't remember the terms for all the stuff that we had because it started changing. But he was there and he was like, it was just one of these things. It was so kind of funny. You know, we're gonna use some purple because that's why I was a person. You're crazy. Like my feelings are genuinely getting hurt because I really wasn't expecting anything really out of this palette. But I was like, I'm determined to do like a full face as much as I can, like sans the eyebrows. I'm not mad, it moves, like the product is moving around on my face pretty nicely, pretty easily. It's not, you know, like again, you're not gonna, you know, write home about it and tell everybody that this is the best palette ever, but it's actually really nice. And it's not ridiculously expensive. So I'm here for it. I'm here for it, hold on. Cute. All right, so I'm gonna go in. They sent this eyeliner, and it's um, I picked out the eyeliner. Anytime I say I sent, just know that I picked out these things, and I'm having them sent to me. So I picked out this eyeliner. It's their Artista, uh, and it's an eyeliner pen. And so I've used this a couple of times, and it's actually really nice. Like this is one of their like to me one of the best products like I receive from them. Yo, I'm gonna tell you that this is like I've been using this in other videos. I really like this eyeliner and it's very inexpensive. I feel like it was like maybe three or four dollars, if that. So nice. And it's just, it's got a nice line and then you're not having to like reshake it between applications. Like what? All right. So now as we like finish out my eye look, let's see what else I have in my like weird little, um, my little rap rock playlist that I created. Oh, yo, this is that song that makes like, like everybody gets lit when they hear this. And that's why they put it in so many movies. Like, oh, here we go. I can't stand it. I know you're Sabotage by Beastie Boys. This is one of those songs that like, it just made, R.I.P. But like, I, this song was just so uh, up there. I, I can't even like the words I have for it. So I'm gonna just use like a kind of an interesting, you know what, that was the wrong color to use. I was wrong for once. But we're actually gonna go ahead and go in. We're gonna go in with this like kind of peachy gold, like I don't know what shade it is. It's like a taupey shimmer. This is like a almost all shimmer look, okay. This is a cute, inexpensive ass look. Now, I did want to get some other eyeliner pencils, but they didn't have any available. Like they were all sold out and I was like, no. So I'm going to have to go in with an eyeliner pencil I have, but so far this look is coming together, y'all. Mm, I'm a bay beach, you know it. So this next song that's in my playlist, y'all, because of the shirt, it's actually appropriate because I have the shirt says Dirty Deeds and then it's like done dirt cheap. 
So when I tell y'all, like, if you want to see me, like, when outside is open and I decide that I go to, like, you know, an event or something, which I do from time to time, like, if you want me to get, like, crunk, not crump, because I'm not going to be crumping anywhere. I don't like that dance style. But if you want to see me get crunk, you put on this jam right here and be like... For those about to rock, baby, listen, this is like a weird, because, okay, in Texas, we have tons and tons and tons of cover bands. Next up, we're going to hop in with the Fat Lash, which I have used. I like this mascara quite a bit. It's super, super nice. The wand is very easy, you know. It's not too difficult. It's not a pain in the arse. Um, and really, to top all of that off, uh, it does a clump, so I'm, I'm a fan. Cause I hate it when it like, cause I don't have a lot of eyelashes. Anyway, we have a lot of cover bands here in Texas. And when you want to see me just like, act like I don't know who I am, they have cover bands that do like some ACDC and I, I just don't know what happens. I just become like a bro. Like I'm like, yeah, bro, <laughs> pass me another beer, man. <laughs> it's just like really intense. But that was about to rock. We salute you! So anyways, all right, this is one of my literal all-time favorite songs in the entire world. I know that there was controversy surrounding the music video, but like this was like old school. This is what taught me that like charisma is what I'm attracted to. <laughs> because this lead singer for, I guess most people would not be considered, you know, attractive, right? But for me, I was like, Yes, because you want it all, but you can't have it. Epic by Faith No More. I was wildly attracted to this man. Don't ask questions about this. I did something weird and I had to like correct it doing it that way, so. But this song, like every time it comes on, like I'll be in my car being like, and I point at people. Y'all don't know, I point at people. For someone who doesn't like to actually interact with human beings on a regular schedule, the fact that I'll be like, your face and you can't grab it. I'm a very avid car dancer, okay? And I'm really good at it. So I am gonna put this velour highlighter on. Um, I cannot, this one is circus. It's really pretty. This reminds me of like indie, like a lot of the indie shadows that have this like crunchy texture. Like it's, it's gonna be intense. So when you go in like this, like I have a bunch on here, but I'm just gonna show you my stupid trick is I like barely, barely dot like this. You see like the few little dots. And then once we start like playing with little girl, it's gonna be like a whole other party. Now the reason I'm putting it on first is because I'm gonna be using a cream blush and I just wanted to make sure that I didn't go overboard. But I kind of really like this. It is very, very, very crumbly in texture. So again, you wanna be careful with applying it, but it's a really nice highlighter. And honestly, if you wanna wear it by yourself, uh, the only thing that I will say that I don't like about it is how much of it will like stick in one place. Um, so you have to be kind of quick about once you drop it onto your face to like blend it and I would recommend finger blending over anything else because um, I did try it with a brush that was not particularly successful but could be me and my skills but that is my recommendation and this when I get to the brow bone this is where I'm not like worried and that's why I say like I like this because you get all of that on one finger I got to disperse it across my face and now they have this cream blush, which I actually had purchased the cream blushes and the cream highlighters before. So I knew that this was gonna be nice. I just decluttered some recently just cause it was pretty old. I got this one in Charm. And of course it's gonna be like, you know, we all know that I like these like kind of bright, I'm a, I'm a bright little goblin, all right? So I'm going to go in here with my finger. I'm gonna use two fingers. Oh shit. Now this song, okay. Because of my age, this song reminds me, that's why I wanted to do this. This song reminds me of a movie in particular and it's called um, Disturbing Behavior, Katie Holmes and James Mardson before like he was an X-Man and all that shit. But like, ooh, there we go, there we go. We're gonna bring this down a little bit more because I got a little carried away. 
but I will use bronzer and correct this mistake. But when I tell y'all, like, uh, this song, here we go. Harvey Danger, Flagpole Sitta. This song blew up, and it was on the soundtrack of Disturbing Behavior, which was part of that, like, 90s horror movie, like, 90s teen horror trend. Not saying that we weren't watching, but, like, they really started, once again, re-gearing, re-gearing, I don't know if that's the word, but they started gearing the horror movies back towards teenagers again, and having them star teenagers. I directly associate it with that movie, specifically because, look how cute I'm looking. I just want y'all to know, like, this is very inexpensive. <laughs> I don't have bronzer from them, so I'm going to go in with, um, I'm probably going to use a bronzer that I always use, and I don't want to hear any shit being like, Audra, that's an expensive bronzer. I'm going to probably go in with my Kosas bronzer and also be upset that I just sucked too much spit down the throat. <coughs> Now this song I literally only learned of and heard of the band because I used to be on this site where like musicians would hook up, not like hook up, but like would actually do, like we would do music together in all different places of the world. It's called Band Something, I can't remember because it's no longer, it died. So somebody asked me to do the vocals on this song and uh, I was like, okay, but I didn't know it. So I had to go learn it, and then I just like fell in love with this song. And what the song is, I'm getting there. Hold on. You know I like to sing it a little bit first. I've seen better days in my youth. I can't Much less believe. Lydia by Highly Suspect. So this song, like, is what turned me on to Highly Suspect, and I have been a pretty good fan ever since but because of like comfort reasons I don't think I've listened to like some of their new stuff lately so I need to try that I kind of had like a crush on this man I don't know why he was good looking that's why I would say was like he's not no longer here but like <laughs> I am the hungry shot so we have one more song we're gonna hit as we do lips I am going to use, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this shade. It's called Island. Their lipsticks are actually very nice. I've had them before. Good times. I did not get a lip pencil. I can't remember why. I don't, I can't remember why. But anyway, here we go. Destination, oh no. By Rancid. Such a good song. I had a whole like punk punk rock, skater, person thing, like it was just a whole deal. Also, I'm gonna add one more thing to this, which is Pop Fruity, it's their flavored gloss. Um, I love a flavored gloss and I feel like mine is in mango because I get everything mango flavored because that's who I am as a person. It's like mango, pineapple, or coconut. Ruby Soho made me like so popular, like this made me think that like I knew everything about every skater guy. I ever came into contact with. This song is also how I met skater girls. <laughs> I just wore the appropriate outfit and it was on. All right. All right, y'all, that is it. This is the video and this is the look. What do y'all think? Let's do the obligatory slow-mo and then we'll talk about everything right quirk or talk about it while we're doing the slow-mo. All right, that is it. That's the video. I hope that you enjoyed this. I wanted to do this more as a get ready style instead of like going through and individually discussing each and every single product because I feel like one that can be boring for me mainly me. Y'all probably didn't even enjoy this, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> but I think that it's easier for me to like do, like I, I have difficulties trying to like talk about something if I'm not doing something, especially new makeup. I really am very surprised by the foundation, to be honest, because they have another one and I'll probably, if y'all want to see a video of all the things that I received from them, we'll, we'll talk about it and talk about everything. I'll have a separate ACES video. But then like this palette kind of surprised me. I did, I obviously did an all shimmer look. You don't have to do an all shimmer look. Like I had a little bit of matte. Uh, they're nothing to, like, it's not like the mattes aren't super fantastic, but they're not terrible. The shimmers actually perform quite well. I like how this all turned out. I think I look cute. Um, 
I hope that I don't look respectful. And I just, the, the things I was most surprised by when I tried all of this was the mascara. I was just surprised that it just didn't, it wasn't, because you know when a lot of inexpensive mascaras, to me, my issue with a lot of them is like they're very clumpy. And this did not do this. It was like, it's giving me length, and it's not a lot of length, but it gives me length. I wouldn't say like it's, you know, that's its intention. It's supposed to just make your lashes like fatter, which they are. Like I can see them in like the light being like, but out girl. And then the eyeliner, this is my favorite purchase from them. And also this velour highlighter, I'm living for it. The Wonder Skin, I can kind of like take it or leave it. The clean cream blushes, if y'all are looking to get some really inexpensive cream blush and try to get into it, try to play with it, highly recommend that you pick up some of the, the ones from Shop Miss A. So first of all, I just want to say thank you to Shop Miss A for letting me play with your makeup. It's so great. Also, since my hands are dry, I got this, which is their white tea aloe luxury hand cream and I've been using it like ever since I got it so please don't make fun of me oh let's go do that <laughs> which I feel a lot of us have been wandering around with varying hand lotions ever since this whole demi started so I like this one it's very moisturizing feels good the lipsticks are nice the gloss is glossy and popping so I have really had a good time the brushes some of them I don't love like I don't like brushes shaped like this but a lot of them they were easy to work with it wasn't like a whole ordeal it wasn't difficult to get them to pick up product or anything like that I'll be trying them um, more moving forward down the line so yeah that is that's it I keep saying that's it and then it's not it but truly this is it if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and then that way I know you enjoyed what I got to give what to you and the algorithm goddess always treats me much kinder when y'all comment and like so appreciate you all right until next time you know what i'm gonna say first which is huge shout out to my patrons and spooky bays yeah all right you know it costs zero zero dollars to be kind and it's so good for your soul because if you don't take care of it you know, I might just send you down the list with my with my playlist, you know, and then you'll be embarrassed and sad for yourself that you came there. Also, I'm going to eat your soul. All right. Until next time. XOXO. <laughs> Golly girl. <laughs> you can fight me. No, you can't. I'm really strong. Despite the spindliness of my arms, I am stronger than you think that I am. So. Don't try me. That got weird. Alright, so. Sam Sam, because if you put this whole finger on there, you're gonna be. You, you might be in a little bit of trouble, you know what I mean? Trouble you did not want to have. I know I'm an amputee. Damn you!